Good morning, dear students. Today, I am going to discuss topic with you. What is entrepreneurship and what is the need of entrepreneurship? So, student, entrepreneurship means setting up one's own business. That is distinct from the one which is going on. Means under entrepreneurship, we have to do something new. We have to set a business or something new things that is not going on in the market till now. This is called as entrepreneurship, doing business of something new, which doesn't happen till now. So now I am going to discuss with you what is the need of entrepreneurship. So student, the first need for entrepreneurship is capital formation. Under entrepreneurship, the savings of the household is get invested in the industries where it is used for production activities. So as savings of people is going to be invested in the companies, it leads to increase in the capital formation. So the basic need of entrepreneurship is to increase capital formation in the country. Second is improvement in per capita income. Yes, students, as savings of people get invested in companies through securities. As companies or industries issue shares, people purchase such shares and their money get invested in the companies. That money is a capital for that very company organizations and that is used for production activities. As production increases, then GDP, gross domestic product also increases. With the increase in gross domestic product, national income increases. And as national income increases, it leads to increase in per capita income of the people. So we can say through entrepreneurship indirectly leads to increase in per capita income of the people. Next student is generating employment opportunities entrepreneurship create more and more employment opportunities directly as well as indirectly when i am talking about entrepreneurship it is in a sense of self employment so through entrepreneurship directly we are entering in self employment it means it leads to create employment opportunities and when anyone is entering in self employment it will give job to large number of people and because of this entrepreneurship we are giving job to millions of people so indirectly also entrepreneurship create large and large employment opportunity so we can say through entrepreneurship directly in the form of self-employment and indirectly in the form of giving jobs to millions of people employment opportunities are creating next is generation of business opportunity for others entrepreneurship create business opportunities firstly for the suppliers of inputs and secondly for the marketers of output take an example like there is a pen manufacturing firm when a pen manufacturing firm is started then it will create opportunity to refill suppliers on the one hand and on the other hand to the wholesalers and retailers of stationery so in this way entrepreneurship generate business opportunities for suppliers of inputs and for marketer of output next is improvement in economic efficiency students efficiency means producing more with the same inputs and it happens in case of entrepreneurship if entrepreneurs work with efficiency they will improve their process of production they reduces wastage and increases production as well as they provide their labor good tools and implements which leads to increase in production because laborers are utilizing good tools and implements next is increasing the spectrum and scope of economic activity students entrepreneurship is not only mean to improve or develop the existing things entrepreneurship doesn't mean only doing something more or better for existing things it means 
to diversify entrepreneurship activities not only in the local area but in different geographical areas entrepreneurship means to diversify entrepreneurship activities business activities not only in the local area but in different geographical areas with a different type of products so through entrepreneurship there is increase in the spectrum and scope of economic activities so students i discussed with you need for entrepreneurship firstly entrepreneurship is required for capital formation then for improvement in the per capita income third for generating more and more employment opportunities entrepreneurship is required for generation of business opportunities for others it also leads to improve in economic efficiency it also increases the spectrum and scope of economic activities so now i am going to shift to the next topic that is process of entrepreneurship development entrepreneurship development i discussed with you in my last class also entrepreneurship development means improvement in the knowledge and skills of entrepreneurs through various training and classroom programs so now i will discuss with you what is the process of entrepreneurship development entrepreneurship development process is divided into three stages first stage is pre training stage in this stage as you all know there are large number of people who want to get entrepreneurship development but before giving training for the entrepreneurship development we have to check their qualities whether these people are having potential to become entrepreneur or not so the first step is under pre training stage selection of persons with necessary qualities from large number of people we have to select such persons who are having potential to become entrepreneur who are having necessary qualities in the form of knowledge values and motivation so first of all we have to select the persons with the necessary potential then creation of infrastructure for training after that we have to create the infrastructure like we have to arrange a classroom where training is to be given as well as different type of machines we have to require for training then preparing contents of the training program after that contents of the training program what training is to be given the contents of training program is to be prepared designing training techniques and materials after that techniques of training which techniques will be utilized to give training and what material will be required all these things are designed after that selection and training of trainers after that first uh, firstly before giving training to the trainees we have to give training to the trainers whether trainers are properly trained or not we have to select the trained trainers so this is the pre training stage after go, completing the pre training stage the next stage is training stage in this stage necessary motivation competencies and behavioral patterns of the individuals who are present for taking training are developed means in such person motivation is developed they are make completely motivated to become good entrepreneurs their competencies their efficiencies and effectiveness are to be improved and behavioral pattern are developed means how they will behave in different business situation their behavioral patterns are developed proper guidance is given so that they can easily identify business opportunities they are taught how to prepare project report and they are also explained whenever they are going to launch a business organization what formalities they have to complete first of all they have to get no objection certificates from where they will be able to get this certificate how registration of the entrepreneurship organization will be done from where they will get licensing all these formalities are 
explain to such persons so in the training stage everything is explained to them for their entrepreneurship development after proper training the last stage is post training stage in this stage proper support and follow up is provided to the beneficiaries the persons who go training they are given proper support even after getting training and regular follow up meetings are conducted with the participants so that if they are having any of the shortcoming that can be improved and they will be able to get success and will be able to become successful entrepreneurs so student here the process of entrepreneurship development is divided into three categories first category i discussed with you pre training stage in this stage everything about the training is prepared their classroom their machines their even their trainers are trained everything is prepared for giving training and in training stage they are given complete training from their behavior to licensing of the business organization and in the last post training stage they are given regular follow up so that if there is any shortcoming that can be removed students i hope today's topic is clear to all even then if you have any doubt discuss with me thank you students